Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally going to be filming my Kylie skin review because if you follow me on Instagram, I posted on my Instagram story a picture of the products I received when I received them and I got a few DMs from people asking me my thoughts on them but I had just received them so I didn't even try them yet but I told them I would all let them know and I'm filming this video for them and for everyone who would like to know more information about Kylie skin. So I didn't purchase the whole set. I could not afford to. So I purchased products that I think would make the biggest difference in my skincare routine and have probably the best results for me. So I purchased the Kylie Skin Foaming Face Wash. Pretty large bottle. This is how much I've used after using it for a week straight twice a day. So yeah, this review will be the results I've received after using the products I got after one week. But obviously with skincare, you only see major differences after a few months. But I still wanted to share my thoughts about how I feel it's working for me. And then secondly, I got the Kylie Skin Eye Cream. So... I feel like there's so much to talk about so the face wash has five fluid ounces it is a foaming face wash and i haven't used a foaming face wash since i started getting into skincare when i was like 13 because i think i remember hearing that foaming isn't the best formula for face wash but that's why i found it very interesting that i just came out with a foaming face wash because no one comes out with foaming face washes anymore so here it's so here's the lid and the dispenser. I, I guess I'll show you what the product looks like. So I apply one pump on my face and I rinse my hand beforehand. I've already washed my face this morning. So then I would just rub it between my hands and then lap it onto my face for 20 to 30 seconds. So I do follow the Kylie Skins Instagram page and I've seen all of Kylie's videos introducing and describing all of the ingredients and all of the products. Every step in a skincare routine is important, but I definitely think a cleanser will make a big difference for sure. The cleanser is definitely one of the most important because for the average girl, the basic necessities you need for skincare is cleanser, exfoliator, moisturizer, and SPF, I would say. But if you're a more of a skincare junkie or a skincare enthusiast, you'll definitely have more steps in that routine. So I'll read you what the description is on the back. So it says, Our luxurious foaming face wash is infused with ultra-nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity. This gentle formula cleanses skin by helping to remove dirt, oil, and makeup for a fresh, bright complexion. Usage applied to wet skin and gently massage in circular motions. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. And her skincare line is cruelty-free, vegan, paraben-free, and gluten-free. So I was very ecstatic that it was vegan and cruelty-free because I believe with skincare, we should only be using natural substances. And there is no list of ingredients though on the bottle, which is very strange she calls this a luxurious nourishing face well face well she describes this as a luxurious oh my gosh she describes this as a luxurious luxurious nourishing face wash and the foam is very very softening and once you apply it to your skin your face does feel soft but afterwards once you rinse it your face feels a bit tight and i have very very oily skin i assume that someone with very dry skin or combination skin it would feel very tight results I've received so far is my face is a lot less oily which I do like and my face does feel soft but this morning when I wash my face I've been blowing my nose a lot this morning because my allergies are acting up that the that my skin was burning around my nose where it was really dry with this face face wash which I do find concerning so I would not recommend this cleanser for people with dry skin. I further think your skin will just be lacking moisture. I've seen a lot of criticism from people who review this with dry skin that they say it feels tight, it doesn't feel moisturizing, and I would have to agree with that. But I do have very oily skin. I haven't seen any reviews from people with very oily skin, but for me, it works fine. But 
this isn't a life-changing cleanser for me it's not the best cleanser i've ever tried or the best in the world so i wouldn't repurchase this cleanser but i am happy that i tried it because it is working well so far but i definitely think i could find cheaper products or more accessible products in stores i mean that would work just as well or even better so the cleanser i would give it an 8 out of 10. it works well but it doesn't work amazing and makes me want to repurchase this also i didn't say the prices but this cleanser was 24 us dollars and the eye cream is 20 us dollars so just like her makeup line her skincare as well is a mid-range pricing line i would say it gets a decent price range for a skincare line but i was very shocked when kylie came out with a skincare line i just I did not expect it, but she just continues to prove what a badass entrepreneur she is and is always looking to outdo herself, which is amazing. And what everyone should be striving to do is just to continue doing more in life. So I know this video is so out of order. All my videos, I just sit down and start filming. I never write any notes or prepare beforehand, but this was the box it came in. It says Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner. It has pink bubble wrap and then these are the cartons that it came in, an ombre pink carton. Oh, the ingredients are on the box. The ingredients are on the box of the product, but not on the products themselves. Whoa, the eye cream has a lot of ingredients. Also came with a little slip note as usual, and it's of her. And in the back she says, Hope you guys love your Kylie skin products. This is just the beginning, XO Kylie. I do have to say after, I guess, giving a negative review on the cleanser that this is the first products she's coming out with a skincare line and with any company, the beginning is not going to be its best. It's gonna continue to improve just like with Kylie Cosmetics. Let's talk about the eye cream now. I love this eye cream. This eye cream has been life-changing for me and is a staple in my skincare routine and i will definitely be repurchasing this eye cream and i highly recommend this eye cream to everyone with every skin type and especially to people with dark under eyes and dull t-zone in the back she says our revitalizing eye cream is the ultimate recipe for your eyes this unique formula contains a blend of caffeine green tea, vitamin E, and pomegranate extracts that help brighten, hydrate, and reduce puffiness and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Usage applied daily around the delicate eye area. So along with the cleanser, I have been using this twice a day. I've used eye creams in the past, but once they ran out, I just never bothered to repurchase them, so I haven't used an eye cream in years. But I just want to say that the breakouts I have right now are not due to the Kylie Skin products, it's due to the retinol that I've implemented into my skincare routine, which I will talk later about for sure okay i'm gonna post a before picture now and then the after picture now and you can see after one week of using this eye cream twice a day how much brighter my under eyes are you could even see right now that it's usually so dark and purple underneath my eyes but it's so much brighter the puffiness is definitely reduced and i just look a lot more awakened and healthy around my eye area i apply it the way she applies it i apply a bit under my eyes and then I just blend it out with the dispenser so I go so I like to apply a lot so I go underneath my eyes on my eyelid as well and then at the edge of my eye so here I will show you what it looks like so I hope you can see it's yellow and then here let me blend it in it's a thick eye cream which i like my under eyes feel so moisturized and hydrated and i like the consistency so i will show you my skin up close i do have to say though that i have texture on my skin in my t-zone right here next to my nose and a lot of it has been reduced so i don't know if that would be due to the eye cream or the cleanser i hope i said everything that i needed to say i hope this review was informative and helpful for you and i would recommend trying her skincare products 
listen to her videos about what she has to say about them and talking about the ingredients and if you feel those ingredients would work for you definitely try it out everyone's skin is different products will work differently for everyone but if you do have really oily skin like me the cleanser could be amazing for you but i'm just saying it wasn't for me but the eye cream i think it would work for amazing for everyone though so highly recommend that Thank you for watching this review. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos of mine. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.